think I must have got away from the spaceport before we could alert the guards. At least they can't leave the planet. Space Control has orders to have every private freight and passenger ship checked before clearing for blast off. Maybe it was with Zanka. I don't know. We've got three men watching Zanka's office. If he or anybody else shows up, they'll be mad. Space Patrol headquarters, Commander Corey here. This is Martis Randall. I'm afraid I gave you a wrong lead yesterday in regard to the fire at the laboratory. About Conlon, you mean? Yes. He's not the man you're looking for. Perhaps not, but he keeps some pretty strange company for an honest chemist. How do you know Conlon is in the clear? I have some new information, Commander. All right, let's have it. I can give it to you over the phone. I'll explain in detail when you get here. When I get there? It's very urgent, and I can't come to your office. Where are you? At my home, 618 Orion Way. It's just two blocks west of Terra Boulevard. I can't possibly tell you any more right now. I just have to talk to you personally. Right away. Another hour may be too late. All right, Miss Randall, I'll be there in 15 minutes. Corey out. I wonder what she found out. She didn't sound excited or in danger. From what I've seen of her, Mattis Randall seems pretty level-headed and confident. Something's wrong. I'd better get over there. Have you stay here in case we get a lead on Zanko. Yes, sir. I'll check back with you from Miss Randall's place. Come in, Commander. Thank you, Miss Randall. It was good of you to come so quickly. It certainly was, Commander. Get your hands up. Thank you. Yes. Just remember there are two ray guns covering you. This one and one in the next room. What's the setup here, Miss Randall? Are you in the Zanko? I am I in the Zanko? Marty, sit down. Sit down and remain quiet. Yes, Zanko. What have you done to her? Have you ever heard of Formula G3K? Got it under the influence of that chemical. Exactly. You're next. Conlon! Yeah? Come in here and bring the infuser. Okay. So you're Conlon. You were with Zanker at the warehouse. That's right, Corey. I've got quite a score to settle with both of you for what you tried to do to Happy and me. Conlon, I'll keep him covered while you use the infuser on him. Roll up your sleeve, Corey. This won't hurt a bit. Come on, let's have that arm. Sure. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot that stuff into me. Zanker, get him off me. Use the ray gun. No, that's what's putting him out too long. Break loose, then. Drop that gadget, Conlon. Zanker, do something. I'll fix him. This chair will slow him down. No. There. Nearly broke my wrist. Never mind that. Pick up the infuser. I want Corey under control when he comes to. All right. I'm not sure the chemical will work on him. Of course it will. Now, Marty's. You just sit there and keep quiet. Yes, Zanko. Or his arms are ready. Use the infuser. Okay. Ah. It's very neat, this ultrasonic infuser. Doesn't even break the skin or leave a mark. I think he's coming too. Good. We'll give the chemical time to take effect. Then we'll give him his instructions. Space Patrol Headquarters, Commander Corey's office. Cadet Happy here. Happy, this is Commander Corey. Yes, sir. Everything all right? Everything's under control, Happy. Now listen carefully. Go to the spaceport immediately and see that Terra 5 is ready to blast off. Yes, sir. Where are we going? I'm going alone, Happy. Just learned something very interesting. I'll tell you about it when I get back. Fine, Commander. For the time being, no one is to know about this flight. No one, understand? Yes, sir. I'll give special instructions to Space Control when I get to the spaceport. Now, one more thing. I've got an errand for you to run. There are some papers in file H7. The Henderson case. Take them to the research records division and have six microfilm copies made of them. Research records? That's in the Michelson building on the south side of the city, isn't it? Right. Wait there until the job's done, then deliver those microfilms to the first six addresses on the distribution sheet. Got that? Yes, sir, but I thought the Henderson case was... I'm in a hurry, Hap. Just follow orders. Yes, sir. I'll go to the spaceport right away and check the ship. Fine, Hap. Corey, out. Half an hour later, at the Terra spaceport, Commander Corey strides toward the Terra 5. With him are two men who walk close to Buzz, watching him carefully as he returns the salutes of various space patrol personnel. The men engage in light conversation, masking their tenseness until they board the spaceship and close the hatch. <sighs> well, worst of it's over, Zanker. Yeah. All right, Corey. Get to the controls and blast off. I'll check with space control. You are making a special flight to Mars, to Lowell City. Is that clear? Perfectly. This flight is to be logged under secret operations until further official notice. Jack, 
All right. Get busy. Sure. Can you handle that call to the cadet just as I instructed? With the G3K and him, he'll follow orders to the letter. I hope so. I still think we should have brought the girl along, though. What for? She served her purpose. The way we tied her up in her apartment, we'll be safely away from her long before she gets leave. <laughs> it's a great idea of yours, making Corey take us in his own ship. She is her. And even if we had been recognized, who's going to interfere with the business of the commander-in-chief of this space patrol? Commander Corey aboard Terra 5 calling space control. Space control here. Go ahead, Commander. Request permission to blast off immediately. Destination Mars. Space lock number two is clear, sir. Log this flight under secret operations file until further notice. Enter two unidentified civilian passengers under technical space patrol custody as per regulation 185-D. Very good, Commander. May blast off when ready. Space control out. Great. When we're clear of Terra, we'll order Corey to change vector for Jupiter's fourth moon. High rockets, Corey! Corey doesn't know it's coming, but this is his last flight. Cadet Happy stands before the door of an apartment at 618 Orion Way. On his face, an expression of worried indecision. For he has deliberately disobeyed an order from Commander Corey. Finally, his mind made up, he knocks at the door. Who is it? Could that happen? Is Commander Corey there? No. Will you open the door? I want to talk to you. Come in. It's locked. I say it's locked. You'll have to let me in. I can't. I'm tied up. You mean you're busy? No, tied up with rope. Smoking rockets. Why didn't you say so? Miss Randall, Miss Randall, what happened? Who did this? Dan Core and Conman. Where's Commander Corey? Wasn't he here? Uh, Miss Randall, answer me. Where's the commander? I, uh, I don't know. Well, look, you called the commander at his office. Uh, then he called me. Did he call from here? I, uh, I don't know. Now look, uh, don't be afraid, Miss Randall. No one's going to hurt you. Where are Zankel and Conman? They, they've gone to Mars. Mars. They made the commander take them. Uh, they, they made him phone me and get the ship ready, right? Uh, I... Well, you said they were going to Mars. Now, whereabouts on Mars? Lowell City? Come on, tell me. No, they're not going to Mars. They're going to Jupiter's fourth moon. Let's have it straight, Miss Randall. Which is it? It's wearing off now. I can tell you the truth. What's wearing off? The formula G3K. They gave some to me to the commander with an ultrasonic infusion. They had us under complete control. All right, they're making the commander take them to Jupiter number four. You're sure of that? Yes. They've got a ship hidden there. When they land, they're going to destroy the Terra 5 and Commander. Not if I can help it. I'm going to get a ship and blast off after them. But they've got a half-hour start. Well, chances are they set a vector for Mars to make it look good. By the time they correct it to a vector for Jupiter 4... Look, every second counts. You're free now. I'm getting to the spaceport. Uh, it's Moon 4, all right. What's your view scope reading, Coy? 50,000 DUs. His anchor will be there in less than an hour. Yeah. Well, uh, come back here, come then. I want to talk to you. Okay, what is it? When Corey lands, you make sure our ship is ready to blast off. And I'll finish Corey. Conlon, hmm? look at the rear view scope. What's on that tail? The space patrol cruiser. One of Corey's men must have got suspicious. Well, it's too late to back out now. Commander. Yes? There is a ship approaching directly behind us. Fire your rear space torpedo gun. Fire? On that ship? Why? You will destroy that ship immediately. Set the rangefinder. That's it. Gonna do it. Now, fire! The mist. Tanker, he double crossed us. No, no, I think it's the G3K. The chemical is making him feed him. But it's affecting the higher reasoning center of his brain. He made a mistake. Corey! Fire again! Space Patrol Cruiser T-65 calling the Terra-5. Thank her. I've alerted Jupiter Space Patrol. Play it smart and surrender. Happy. Cadet, happy. Corey! Don't punch the space of phone! Commander, if you can hear me, listen. This is happy. If they're ordering you to fire on the ship off your stern, resist. This is a Space Patrol ship. Do you understand? You're under the influence of a chemical. Formula G-3K. Fight it! Happy, but what's he telling me? Commander, fire! That's not happy. You ordered him to stay on Terra, remember? It's 
cadet happy. Then it is the baby's orders. He must be punished. Fired at torpedo. That's it. This time you won't miss. You're right, Zanka. This time I won't miss. Uh, 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 now, Zanka, you're next. Should I have you to Commander Corey? Listen to me, please. Corey here. Everything's under control, Happy. Oh, what a relief. What about Zanka and Connor? Uh, they won't be giving us any more trouble. I hope that torpedo didn't scare you too much. Who do I thank for the bad marksmanship? For me. The chemical was wearing off. Your voice really snapped me out of it, huh? That's good. I, I didn't know what to do. How did you happen to take off after us? Well, it was what you told me about the Henderson file. That case was closed weeks ago, and yet you told me to chase all over town with useless microfilm. I took a chance and checked with Martis Randall. Is he all right? Yes, sir. How come you picked the Henderson file, anyway? Well, it's lucky I did, but it wasn't intentional. If the G3K formula hadn't deadened my reasoning ability, I might have sent you on a plausible errand. Oh, by the way, under regulations, I can't ignore the fact that you did disobey orders. Um, no, sir, I, I guess not. And according to regulation 145W, the form of punishment is left to the discretion of the commanding officer. I understand, sir. Very well. Your punishment will consist of a seven-day special duty at the Space Patrol Recreation Camp at Lake Azure on Venus. You'll swim, hike, fish, or play ball not less than one hour each day. And that, cadet, is an order. Yes, sir. Um, uh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Hurry out. <laughs> an action preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure in just a moment. Hi, Space Patrollers. This is Captain Tufeld. And Cadet Happy. I'm reporting to you on Rice Checks. And I'm reporting to you on Wheat Checks. Rice Checks. Triple toasted spreaded rice biscuits that taste mighty good. Tops for taste. That's Rice Checks. Wheat Checks. Boy, they've got a swell whole wheat flavor that can't be beat. Tops for taste. That's Wheat Checks, too. And Rice Checks are made in that modern, bite-sized design for easy eating. It's Tops for size. That's Rice Checks. Wheat checks are bite-sized for super easy eating. Pops for size, too. And after a good nourishing breakfast with checks, rice, or wheat, you'll see their tops for get up and go. Real space patrol get up and go like the commander has. Checks, the good word to remember at breakfast time or any time because they're tops three ways for taste, size, and get up and go. So look for the red and white checkerboard packages with the picture of the commander or the swell picture of me on the outside. <laughs> rice checks, wheat checks. <laughs> Now, a preview of next week's exciting Space Patrol adventure. Buzz and Happy are aboard the Terra 5 out in space. Joined to the airlock is another ship whose pilot has identified himself as a Space Patrol agent. This may be the break we need, Commander. Maybe this agent can tell us where to locate Sorba and that spy ship from Tyrannus. You'll know in a minute, Happy. A man's in the airlock. Get your hands up, both of you. Sorba. Let's get him, Happy. I want you not to move. Oh. Yeah. That paralyzed array will give us any more nonsense. You are prisoners of war, captives of Tirana. Be sure to join us next week for the thrilling story, Shipment to Tirana, when Rice Checks and Fleet Checks again present Space Patrol. Space Patrol, created by Mike Moser, starring Ed Kemmerer Commander Corey, and Lynn Osborne as Cadet Happy, was written by Lou Houston. Produced and directed by Larry Robertson. Executive producer, Helen Moser. Other players were Virginia Hewitt, Bela Kovach, and Ken Mayer. Dick Tufel speaking. Now, don't forget to tune in next Saturday and every Saturday when Rice Checks and Wheat Checks present exciting action on Space Patrol. This program is broadcast for armed forces overseas through the worldwide facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Space Patrol came to you transcribed from Hollywood. This is ABC Radio Network.